YouTubers, and today I'm going to be showing you how to re-enable autoplay. Uh, it's a common problem with Windows 7, Windows Vista. Um, it usually happens whenever you install VMware or uh, virtual machine software. It usually disables those registry keys, and even if you uninstall them, they have to be changed manually. They will not be changed back. Um, okay, so the first step into re-enabling auto run or auto play is to ensure that the shell hardware detecting service is running. And you can uh, find this by going to the Windows button and hitting services.msc. <clears throat> and I'll bring up the services menu. Okay, and then you just gotta find um, shell hardware detection, which would be right. I saw it somewhere. Sh shell hardware detection. You just gotta make sure that status is started and its startup type is automatic. And now that you got, if it's not, then just uh, double click on it and change the startup type right here to automatic and then if it's not st already started just click the start button right here okay so you can go ahead and close out of that um, another problem is this if it just happens with CD-ROMs or you know DVDs or discs then just go to the start button and type in reg edit you will need administrative permissions for this I believe so make sure you have those okay and then you're gonna want to go to the following location go to H key local machine um, system which is right here current control set services and CD-ROM. So it'll be right here. And then you'll have these registry keys. Okay. Then you're going to um, locate the auto run registry key, which is right here. And you're going to make sure that it is set to 1 hexadecimal. So um, if it's zero, then that means that it, you know it's disabled. So that's not good. You don't want that. You want it to be enabled. So, anyways, the the next one is another registry key for other things that aren't um, CD drives. Ensure that the no drive type auto run and the no drive no drive auto run policy registry key registry values are the right ones. Uh, back to when I said if you install things like virtual clone drive or something like that or virtual box those tend to change it so you're gonna wanna keep reg regedit open and you're gonna wanna go to the registry key uh, HK local machine software uh, Microsoft right here Windows so that'll be a bit down. So, Windows, current version. Okay, so, sorry about that. Microsoft, Windows, current version, where was I? I need to go to policies, right? Okay, so policies, um, then Explorer. Then you're going to find these registry keys and you're going to want to make sure that uh, the no drive auto run no drive type auto run is set to decimal 145 and hexadecimal 91. Of course if you put hexadecimal 91 in it will automatically change the decimal place to 145. And this is the on for Windows 7 and Windows Vista, I believe. So, click OK for that, and then you will 
and that should fix your problem. Um, if it didn't, then I recommend watching out the watching my previous video. Uh, there will be an annotation somewhere on the screen, and it shows a different way. But basically, you have if you have Windows Se um, Ultimate, Windows 7 Ultimate, or Windows 7 Enterprise, uh, you can go down to the Start button and type in gpedit.msc. Yeah, just watch the video and it'll tell you how to do that. But if you don't have Windows 7 Ultimate and Windows 7 Enterprise and you still don't have auto, auto run, then I do not know what the problem is because those are the usually the only things that will affect auto run. So, uh, thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, I hope you liked the video. Um, thanks so much for watching.